What could be the possible reasons for my GE refrigerator not cooling while the freezer is working? Hello there. Today, we're going to tackle a common issue many homeowners face. A refrigerator that's not cooling, while the freezer is working just fine. This might seem confusing, but there are several reasons why this might happen. We will walk through these reasons and help you understand what might be going wrong with your General Electric GE refrigerator. Is the airflow blocked? The first possible reason for your GE refrigerator not cooling could be blocked or insufficient airflow. Your freezer and refrigerator compartments often use the same cooling system, but air is circulated between them. If something is blocking this circulation, like an overpacked freezer or a piece of debris, then the refrigerator may not get enough cold air, even if the freezer is working fine. Could it be the evaporator fan? The next potential culprit could be the evaporator fan. This is the part that circulates cold air from the freezer into the refrigerator. If it's not working properly, the freezer might be cold, but that cold air isn't making it to the refrigerator compartment. You'll usually be able to hear if the evaporator fan isn't running, but sometimes it may be a more subtle mechanical issue. Is the damper control broken? The damper control is another component that might be causing the issue. The damper control is a door that opens and closes to let the cold air from the freezer into the refrigerator. If it's stuck closed or not opening enough, that would prevent your refrigerator from cooling properly. Are the thermistors malfunctioning? Thermistors are another potential problem. These are the sensors that monitor the temperature in the refrigerator and the freezer. If they're not working properly, they may not be sending the correct signals to the rest of the refrigerator system, leading to improper cooling. Is the temperature control thermostat broken? The final reason could be a problem with the temperature control thermostat. This device directs voltage to the compressor, evaporator fan motor, and condenser fan motor. If it is not functioning correctly, it can stop the refrigerator from cooling. So, as you can see, there are several potential reasons why your GE refrigerator isn't cooling, even though the freezer is working just fine. Most of these involve the parts of your refrigerator that manage the flow of cold air between the freezer and the refrigerator compartments. Remember, if you're not comfortable troubleshooting or repairing these issues yourself, it's always a good idea to reach out to a professional. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this information useful in diagnosing your refrigerator issues.